another candidate statement, one of the candidates for lieutenant governor, Mike Signer. I was recently at an event where Creed Eats was. And I was Creed's legislative aide a long time ago. He was from Bath County, and he had just been president for a long time. And he introduced me as the son of Arlington, which was great. And it was something you don't get introduced to a lot at Virginia events. And it is a great pleasure for me to be getting in this race with hopefully the backing of – I mean, we're not Chicago. We don't really have Democratic machines, but then we do have Arlington. And I would like to – I did grow up here. I went to Key Elementary School for seven years. I went to Washington Lee for four. I went to H.B. Woodlawn for two. And I know a lot of you in this room. I've known you for a long time. And probably my biggest credential is that I'm the son of Marge Signer. Whether it's by coercion or suasion, you all hopefully will come on my side. I want to tell you a little bit about who I am. Before I tell you about why I'm running, I have served as Deputy Counselor to Mark Warner in Richmond. I have been, for over ten years, a Virginia Democratic activist in every level of the Democratic trenches in this state, including some very unglamorous positions that I did really as a labor of love, just like all of you have. Included in that experience was my service in 2004 as Election Protection Director for the Coordinated in Virginia, which was a profound experience for me as someone who had been taught through my family to fight for justice and fairness at every turn that we can. And it was very illuminating that Virginia's democratic system has so many really tragic shortfalls, and we have so many aspects that are stuffed up a century ago, but two centuries or longer. And it illuminated for me the importance of coming back home and making a difference. I was heavily involved in the Obama transition. I was an advisor to the State Department transition, and it looked like I was probably, like many of you in this room, at least in the running or hoping for some kind of federal government job. But it just became so powerful to me that this was the time to try to come home and make a difference. And I don't mean that to be too Mr. Smith goes to Washington or naive or too hopeful in a way, but there is something in this time with Obama and Tom Perriello and Glenn Nye and people, the youngest generation, starting to come home and develop a viable progressivism in a state like this, which meant to me it was time to come home and try to make a difference. I've always wanted to work for candidates who can answer two questions compellingly. Why are you running, and what do you want to do if you win? And there are a lot of candidates who can't answer that question. That's especially important with this lieutenant governor position. I am running because I do believe that we can make a difference, and it's time to do it. And I'm running for lieutenant governor because I think this office can be more than just a placeholder. I think it can become a public advocate position that strives for change and that takes on systems that are failing ordinary Virginia's economic systems, environmental systems, security systems, including the sacred contract we have with veterans and their families, and most importantly to me, democratic systems. This system can become much better, more fair, and we can do it. And I hope that Arlington will come home strong for me. I'll be talking to you a lot over the coming months, and it's great to be home. Thanks. All right.